Reinstalling your iLock driver software can sometimes resolve issues with plug-in authorizations, MP3 installs, and toolkit problems such as the factory bundle that use the iLock for copy protection. It may also help with computer lockups and freezing. The first thing you'll want to do before installing iLock software is make sure that your Pro Tools software is up to date. Command clicking on the Pro Tools icon in the dock will reveal the location of the application. If your Pro Tools version is out of date, then update it. Now launch a browser such as Safari or Firefox and visit the iLock.com website. When you arrive, you can log into your account if you have one, otherwise you can simply click the download button near the top. This will take you to a page containing the latest iLock software for both the Macintosh platform and the PC platform. Now just click the link for the iLock client installer and the software will begin to download. Once the disk image is mounted, go back to the browser and click the iLock driver installer. Once again, the software will begin to download and the image will mount on your desktop. Now you're ready to install. As we don't need the browser anymore, I'll just bring it forward and just quit out of it from the main Safari menu. Double click the client installer package. Clicking continue will take you to the important information page where you can read all about the iLock software and what it does. Click continue to the license agreement. You'll have to agree to this to be able to continue installing and you'll notice that the iLock software takes very little space on your hard drive. After clicking the install button, you'll be prompted to enter your administrator password and you'll also be reminded that the iLock client install requires you to log out of the current user for the software to take effect. Now, once you log back in, you'll need to install the iLock driver software. So, from the dock, click on the download folder and open in Finder. You'll have to mount the image that's called Mac EX TSX. And once it's mounted, simply double click the interlock extension to begin the installation process. Click continue to get to the readme file. Continue again to the license agreement. Continue so that you can agree to that. And then install, enter your administrator password, and click OK. Now once installation is complete, close the installer, go to your desktop, drag the mounted image to the trash to reject it, and then go back to the downloads folder and delete all of the images you downloaded to keep your Mac tidy and free from unnecessary storage. And that's it. You're now ready to launch Pro Tools and continue working on your sessions.